Hello everyone, hope you're good. We will continue our topic speaking about sequences and series. As we said, we have two types of sequences. We have the arithmetic one. We add to find the next term. We have the geometric sequence. We multiply to find the next term. And as we said, we have two formulas for each one of these sequences we have the nth and the sum of terms formula so we have two formulas for each one of these sequences as we said arithmetic we have to add so we have constant which is d while in the geometric sequences we have to multiply to find the next term so we have a constant which is r in this case we said also that we have infinite series so instead of having finite number of terms we have infinite number of terms again we have two types look at this example we have infinite arithmetic number of terms so we have the arithmetic terms and to find the sum of these numbers we would say immediately we don't have any sum because the sum of these numbers is infinity because it's infinite arithmetic numbers while when we have finite arithmetic sequences we have the formula that we set so we can use it to find the summation in the case of geometric sequences so when we have finite number of terms we can use the formula while when we have infinite geometric sequences we have two options if the absolute value of r is bigger than 1 we say no sum if it's less than 1 we say we have the formula of the partial summation or the summation of this series which is a1 the first term over 1 minus r as we said also in this example we have these terms if we want to find the r between these terms because between these terms because it's a geometric sequence how would we know that it's a geometric sequence because the difference between these terms is not addition not you cannot find the the constant by addition you can find it by just dividing this so 1 over 2 over 1 which is 1 over 2 the absolute value of this r is less than 1 so yes we have a summation and we can use the formula which is the first term over 1 minus r equals 2 in this case so if you want to add these terms until infinity you will get 2 another example in this example we have these terms the first one is 2 radical 2 the second one is 8 the third one is 60 radical 2 so how would I know the constant of these sequences it's not arithmetic because it's not addition so it's a geometric you have to find the R by just taking this 8 dividing by the first term so 8 over 2 radical 2 equals 2 radical 2 this number which is R is bigger than 1 so if you want to add these terms you will get infinity so i would say we have no sum for this sequences again look at this case we have these terms so if you want to find r because it's a geometric sequences divide these 1 over 3 over 2 over 3 you will get 1 over 2 so it's less than 1 yes we have the summation so we can use the formula of finding summation of this geometric sequences again another one if we have these terms until infinity guys these points refers to the infinity so 4 over 7 over 2 over 7 we will get r which is in this case bigger than 1 so i say we don't have any summation 
so basically guys if r is less than 1 I have the formula if it's bigger than 1 immediately I would say no summation this is for the geometric case while with the arithmetic case if it's immediately infinite number we would say no summation if a finite number we have the formula to find the summation so guys if we memorize the formula which for each one of these sequences we could find and solve the question very easily so now guys speaking about summation and adding terms infinite number of terms finite number of terms so how we can find a notification or notation for this summation so look at this sigma notation we can say that we can define the summation of those terms a k in this case by using the sigma notation how for example if i have n terms I, I want just to add these terms to get a summation instead of writing a1 plus a2 plus a3 and so on until n we can write this notation which means the summation from k equals 1 so look at this starting from 1 until n of what of this term which is a of index k so again n tells us the end of this series this sigma tells us to add because this is for addition and this start tell us to start when when k is 1 sometimes we have to start from k equals 2 3 or 0 in this case starting from the a1 until n so we call this sigma notations just to represent the addition or the of n terms okay guys let's take an example how to use this sigma notation let's say we have a0 which is 2 a1 3 and a2 negative 2 a3 is 1 and a4 is 0 these five terms defined as we said each one of a0 until a4 we defined each one of these variables as a number so it's asking me to find the summation in this case let's take the first example from i equals 0 until 4 of who of ai so ai these terms so it's asking me to find the summation between i equals 0 until 4 okay so i equals 0 until 4 ai so i have to add a0 because i starting from 0 so ai plus a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 because i finishes at 4 so the index starting from 0 till 4 so i have to add these 2 plus 3 plus negative 2 plus 1 plus 0 equals 4 this is how to add this items okay let's take this third one the last one is asking me to add from k equals 1 until 1 guys by the way in this case we have i in this case it's k guys it's up to you you can choose the variable you want you just have to match between the index i and the index in the sequence here so if it's i it's i if it's k it's k if it's j it's j it's up to you so in this case is asking me to find k equals 1 until 1 of a k so basically i'm just adding one term but watch one so a1 because k starting from 1 finishing at 1 again so i have only one term which is a1 so the answer is 
3 it's only one term if it's 2 in this case I have to add this one and this one third example in this example we have j from 0 until 2 a to j so basically guys as guys I have to pay attention to this index here it's not j it's 2j again 0 a 0 0 multiplied by 2 so a 0 j 1 so 1 multiplied by 2 it's a 2 j 2 multiplied by 2 it's 4 so guys instead of having j I have to plug this j multiplied by 2 so if j 0 a 0 if j 1 1 multiplied by 2 it's 2 if j is 2 because I, I end this ends at 2 so 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 so choosing these a 0 a 2 and a 4 I can find the answer which is the summation of this series thank you guys Hope you enjoyed the class.